Let's talk about some of the resources that you can use here at the university. It's really important that you know that you don't have to go at this experience all alone. There are a number of resources here to support you. First and foremost, you have an assigned academic advisor. Don't ever hesitate to go to that person. What about your instructors or your faculty? Is there a mentor, somebody you can connect with? If you don't have somebody, come to my office, the Academic Success and Career Center. We're always happy to help. There are many resources available to students at Washington State University. We've selected a few. Let's start with tutoring. Tutoring is an effective resource for students to use. The Academic Success and Career Center makes available a list of tutoring opportunities at WSU, including a tutoring portal. In this tutoring portal, you can search for classes by the subject, such as chemistry, a course number, maybe 105, a location, such as the Academic Success and Career Center, and the day of the week, maybe Monday. There you're going to see a tutor by their name, the day that they're available, and the time of day that they are there to serve you. One strategy that I recommend for students is to potentially write down the times that a tutor is available. You could use that time, go to the tutoring center, and study for your classes. If you run into difficulty in lieu of going to Google or YouTube to try to solve a problem, you could go ask a student that's taken that class and done well in that class, even been recommended by a faculty or an instructor here at the university. Tutoring's not just for students that are struggling in a class. Tutoring's used by any student that wants to do well. Now let's talk about student support services. Student support services serve students that meet one of the following three criteria. Low income, first generation, or has a documented disability. Through intentional support and mentorship, student support services help students towards graduation and beyond. Another really important resource for you to know about is the Office of the Dean of Students. The Office of the Dean of Students is there in case you're experiencing something that you're just not sure what to do. Maybe there's a sudden illness or a family situation that takes you away from school. Maybe there's a university process, or you can't afford your rent or your food. These are all really great examples of when it's a good time to go see the Dean of Students. Now let's talk about the Office of the Ombudsman. Aside from having a name that you might not understand, the Office of the Ombudsman is there to support students as an impartial mediator when you run into a conflict. An example of this might be maybe you have a disagreement with one of your instructors or another student and you're not sure what to do. The Office of the Ombudsman is there to help you navigate that situation being completely objective. Now let's talk about a resource you might already be aware of, Student Financial Services. Student Financial Services administers the financial aid and scholarships here at Washington State University. If you have any questions about your financial aid or funding your education, you're encouraged to go to their office and talk to one of their financial aid counselors. Another resource you should be aware of is international programs. International programs sponsors the exchange programs, studying abroad, and international students, including their undergraduate admissions for international students. If you're an international student and have questions about your visa status, it's important for you to go talk to international programs if you have any questions. Up next is health and wellness. Health and wellness is a part of your student fees here at the university and gives you access to basic medical care. Health and wellness provides access to a medical clinic, a vision clinic, and a pharmacy. Students pay a health fee for basic services and programs. Health and wellness also provides workshops in collaboration with the Academic Success and Career Center, including time management, test anxiety, reading strategies, benefits of sleep. I encourage you to visit their website and review a comprehensive list of the workshops they offer. Now let's talk about counseling and psychological services. They provide mental health services to students at Washington State for no additional fee. If you or someone you know is facing anxiety, depression, or substance abuse, you're encouraged to go talk to a counselor at Counseling and Psychological Services. Now let's talk about the Access Center. The Access Center provides services to students with disabilities, psychological or medical conditions that limit their access to the WSU environment. As an example, a student experiencing attention deficit disorder, it might be appropriate for that student to have extended test taking time. Or a student with a mobility limitation, the Access Center can provide transportation to and from class. Lastly, let's talk about my office, the Academic Success and Career Center. The Academic Success and Career Center provides a number of resources to students, including academic advising, 
career counseling, which can help you decide on a major, graduate school, or identifying a career path, career services such as resume review or cover letter review, academic success coaching, if you want help developing a time management plan or note-taking strategies. As you reflect on your last semester, maybe you've started to question whether your major is right for you or not. If you have questions or want to talk to an academic advisor about changing your major, the Academic Success and Career Center provides drop-in hours Monday through Friday from 2 to 4 p.m. Thank you.